Well guys, I learned a valuable lesson today and I'm going to share that story with you. Stick around. I had this great idea for a book and I got the idea because I used Book Bolt and I noticed that you can go in and search for the top 100 and one of the listings there is calendars. So I just assumed that, yes, you can do a calendar through KDP. And then I found out that, no, you can't. From now on, I am going to come straight to this page and I'm going to look up when I have an idea for a book because here it actually says, what types of content can I publish through KDP? KDP allows you to publish ebooks, Kindle and print books, paperback and hardcover. However, KDP does not allow the creation of magazines, periodicals, calendars or spiral bound books. What you can create are novels, book series, children's books, comic cookbooks, journals, poetry and textbooks. I don't know where planners fit in there. I think it would have to come in under journals because journals would be a little bit like or planners, sorry, would be a bit like um, calendars. So be careful with that because the wording there is interesting because it doesn't say planners here and planners are more or leaning more toward these calendars. So like I said, this was what I found in BookBolt. So if I just open up BookBolt quickly and I do love BookBolt for finding things, but if you come in here to seller, sorry, cloud, you can search by bestsellers and here are the categories, notebook, journal, calendar, planner. Okay, so all of these are fine, sketchbooks and trackers and log books and that kind of thing here, but it does have calendar listed. And in effect, you cannot create calendars for KDP. So if I do a search here, it will go through and it will find things like pocket calendars. And if you have a look at these pocket calendars, the even fact, the fact that it has calendar in the name, but then they call it a monthly planner. And they've got some goal checklist, contact list, password trackers, birthday trackers. So it has got a lot more in it, including all of the trackers and things that you are allowed. And if we come down here, you can see that the inside content is more than just what it would be in a normal calendar. Okay, so I can see how this would be allowed, but what I have done um, certainly isn't. So let's pop back out of here. So BookBolt hasn't done anything wrong here. It's just you really do need to investigate what other people are doing because when it comes to um, book bolt and you have a look at some of these other ones so for example if we go to this one here and just excuse the fact that I put sexy there but see this one here um, this well, this one here is getting 179 sales a month but then if you come into it all right this same description is used on multiple books um, that this author and other authors have used with the same sort of style. So I don't know if they've got more than one account. It has 33 pages. It's independently published and they've got it in some really weird places. So I think this person here, they're going to lose their account soon. If the bot keeps going through all the books like it is, then this particular author is going to be toasted. Okay. So I'm not going to make that same mistake. Let's get out of that. So if I come across to what I had done today, so this is the um, the desk monthly desk calendar that I made. I'm not going to call it a monthly desk calendar. I'm going to call this a planner. So I'm going to add a little bit more into this particular monthly planner so that it meets the criteria that KDP needs um, for any book that's being uploaded to its site. So looking at quality. So as it stands, this is not good enough. I'm going to have to do a little bit more work here. And there's my cover. So again, I will change this up. I won't call it a monthly desk calendar. It's going to transform into a monthly planner instead. So I had started to, yeah, see, 26 pages has to have a minimum 72. So I'm not meeting the minimums there. And they had error process in the cover. 
So I'm going to go back to the details and I'm going to call it Perfection Monthly Planner for lovers of arts and cats. And then I'm just going to save this as a draft and it can sit in KDP as a draft until such time as I work a little bit more on these other files. So guys, you do live and learn. You live and learn. I'm still learning and I hope you learn from this as well. So just be really aware that if you are doing anything that is calendar related, that you are making sure that you have got um, enough content in there that makes it a quality book. Um, not just the actual calendars themselves. So even though you might find things like this in the cloud, you do still need to check them out and also check out the KDP guidelines, which I am going to be doing over and over and over again. So all is not lost. I did a bit of work today, but um, I can certainly turn it into something that is very worthwhile. All is not lost. It's, it's a learning curve. It will still have all the images and all of the ideas that I had put in there. If you are considering creating a calendar for KDP, thanks everyone for watching today's video. I'm going to end this video now and I will see you in the next one.